purpose in life. There's nothing uh, when life ends. There's no uh, judgment. There's no justice. And um, we're just here to have the best time that we can have and do the best for ourselves that we can. And that's the most uh, meaning that we can find in life. But if there is a God who will judge us in righteousness after we die, then it would be a good thing to have uh, spent our life wisely, to have uh, looked out for others, for to clothe uh, those who are naked, feed those who are hungry, and uh, do the things that he's, he's created us uh, to do. Um, again, there's uh, David Hume uh, outside the, the law courts in Edinburgh. And uh, this, uh, this picture, I think, sums up something of the lawlessness of our age. He's got two uh, stone tablets there representing the Ten Commandments. And uh, one of those uh, stone tablets is under his foot uh, in defiance, saying, we no longer need uh, God's law, the law, do not uh, steal, do not kill, do not commit adultery. Uh, you know, and uh, then the other one, he's holding up uh, blank as if all God's laws have been wiped away and we're free uh, to make up our own laws. If you've looked on the tally, you'll have seen, you know, in the last few weeks, this, uh, this kind of uh, rising problem of uh, knife crime among, among children, you know, that we often think that, uh, that do not murder is something which is so instinctive to human beings that it doesn't even need to be taught. And yet, we're seeing in our society that, uh, that we're in a position where it's, it's not something which is assumed uh, by, by young people. Um, now, I'm just going to uh, show a short video. Um, one of the, uh, the thing, another thing which is taken off in Edinburgh to do with the, the rising of uh, paganism is the celebration of uh, Beltane and uh, uh, Sanhain. And I'm going to read... Uh, part of the Bible as I show some of this uh, footage. One of the reasons that I, I wanted to do this talk, it was after uh, reading the book of Romans and uh, seeing that God spoke very much about the situation uh, that we're in today, where he linked the rejection of, the rejection of uh, God uh, to uh, the rise of paganism and the rise of, of immorality. And particularly when we as a society reject God as as creator. So these uh, guys in red represent the sexual uh, spirits. Pagans around him. The wrath of God is being revealed from heaven against all the godlessness and wickedness of men who suppress the truth by their wickedness, since what may be known about God has been made plain to them because God has made it plain to them. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have clearly been seen, being understood from what has been made, so that men are without excuse. For although they knew God, they neither glorified him as God nor gave thanks to him. But their thinking became futile and their foolish hearts were darkened Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images made to look like mortal man and birds and animals and reptiles. Therefore, God gave them over in the sinful desires of their hearts to sexual impurity, for the degrading of their bodies with one another. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worshipped and served created things. Therefore, God gave them over to sexual immorality for the degrading of their bodies with one another. They worshipped and served created things rather than the Creator, who is forever praised. Amen. Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lusts. Even their women exchanged natural relations for unnatural ones. In the same way, the men also abandoned natural relations with women 
and were inflamed with lust for one another. Men committed indecent acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their perversion. Furthermore, since they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, he gave them over to depraved mind, to do what ought not to be done. They've become filled with every kind of wickedness, evil, greed and depravity. They're full of envy, murder, strife, deceit and malice. They're gossips, slanderers, God-haters, insolent, arrogant and boastful. They invent ways of doing evil. They disobey their parents. They're senseless, faithless, heartless and ruthless. Though they know God's righteous decree that those who do such things deserve death, they not only continue to do these very things, but also they approve of those who practice them. <laughs> 